Hi, this is Sweet Life and I'm Natasha, back at it with a recipe for French onion soup. When I'm in the mood for soup, one of my top picks is French onion soup. It's super simple to make as it just requires a few ingredients and comes together without much effort. You can have it on its own as a light lunch or dinner. Traditionally, it's served in a small French onion soup crock, which is topped with slices of bread and melted cheese. I don't like wet or soaked bread, so that's a no-go for me. But knock yourself out, or for something more heartier, pair it with a roast beef sandwich and salad. Okay, so here I have about mm, four pounds, like uh, pretty much a bag of yellow onions. You can use whatever kind of onion you want. I wouldn't recommend Vidalia because I feel like it would be overly sweet. I'm just going to take those, cut the tops off, cut the bottoms, and slice it into slices, not chopped. You kind of want like um, that kind of long onion shape rather than like cubed up. So... Here I have a few tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna put that into a soup pot. This is like a six quart pot, um, but you can actually use a larger pot if you want more space. And so just browning a bit of butter at the bottom of the pot, melt it down, let it brown. And to that, I add a few tablespoons of flour. This is just pretty much a roux, which is gonna help to kind of thicken up the soup, give it a little bit of body. So you want like, not really dark, more of like a brown root and so from there we'll take it to sort of like a caramel color I add a bit of red wine stir it. it comes together really quickly and so as you can see like it's thickened and this is going to help to add some body to the soup so like it's not watery just stir 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 you want to cook the flour because you don't want like that raw flour taste and adding to this now just a little bit of beef stock it adds more flavor more body you can use chicken stock or vegetable if you're vegetarian but traditionally it's beef stock it just adds more body and you have the combination now of like the red wine the beef stock it gives it like a nice rich hearty flavor you'd be surprised how filling this soup could be despite it not having any actual meat so just keep stirring building the flavors go on ahead add in your onion at this point and this you're just going to cook down just with that little bit of liquid at the bottom just really sweating down the onions as they cook they're going to caramelize they're going to sweeten but you don't really want to rush it along. So make sure that your fire is not too hot. You want to just slowly sweat down the onions, allow them to get nice and tender. Cooking, I ended up feeling like I needed a bigger pot. So I just got a larger pot and dumped the onions and the liquid over. Well, some of the liquid. The rest of it I reserved in a bowl and just set off to the side for the time being. And this here, we're just allowing the onions to continue cooking. You see just a little bit of liquid at the bottom is just helping it to soften up, right? And also helping to ensure that it doesn't stick too badly at the bottom. The butter helps with that as well because you have like that fat yet still from that roux that we made. Just continue cooking it, letting it get nice and tender. You can see like it's lost some of its volume. It's given off some of that liquid. The flavors get nice and intense. It's condensing down the flavors the flavors are all coming together really good stuff you're going to end up with here and just continuing to let it cook just let it go let it go the way that you can tell that it's coming along well is that you see when we first started it was like a typical white onion at this point now it's getting to be more of like a caramel type color and that's what we're looking for so the little bit of liquid that we added before is fine but you don't want to add too much too early because then the onions won't cook properly like they'll cook but they won't caramelize they'll just get tender the flavor won't be as complex and so here i have some of like that um wine and roux mixture um that I've just reserved on the side and add a little bit of water to. And so I've just put like a pot spoon of that down to the bottom and I just use it to pretty much deglaze the pot to kind of scrape up some of those bits that have stuck on the bottom. So if you get all of that up, it helps to add to the flavor. Now, as I said before, you don't want your fire to be too hot because we don't want this stuff to burn. There's a difference between it browning and burning. Burning, you're gonna end up with like a burnt flavor. It's not gonna be enjoyable. We want it browned. We want it, think caramel rather than burnt sugar. Be very careful, keep an eye on it. Don't let it scorch, not too high fire. 
And as you can see, it's just continuing to get brown. Now at this point, it's even darker than it was before. That's just the flavors and everything like that. The um, little um, bits that stuck at the bottom, which we deglazed, all of that coming together, giving it more color, giving it more flavor, just continuing to let the onions cook. Now to this, I'm going to add the rest of that liquid that I had. You can see a little bit of flour and whatnot, the roux mixture that I had. Just continue stirring the pot. And this is now going to combine with the onions and just thicken this all up. And at this point, we can go ahead and fill the pot the rest of the way with some water. This is now where we're taking it from just being like the onion base to now being onion soup, right? French onion soup. And to this, you want to just go ahead, give it a few stirs so that you get everything nicely combined. You want to make sure that that roux is mixed in and like the water is well distributed. So at this point, we haven't really seasoned it or anything like that. You just kind of have like this unflavored onion base. And to this, you add some seasoning salt, black pepper, give it a stir. To that, I add some dry seasoning, some thyme, some oregano, a little bit of granulated garlic, and then also a bit of Worcestershire sauce. Again, all of this stuff comes together to give you a nice complex flavor give it a taste. In this case, I had to add a little bit more seasoning salt and also a little bit more black pepper um, just to make sure that it's really nicely well seasoned. And I like to also add just a little bit of hoisin. Hoisin, it's salty, so you don't want to add too much, which is why I add the seasoning salt first. But it's salty, but it has like a little extra flavor to it. So once you have all your seasonings added in, you feel like you've gotten it to a good point, go ahead and just let it simmer. Let those flavors all come together. You're good to go from there. And here I have the French onion soup plated up, or in this case, I guess, bowled up. I just put it into a simple bowl. You can certainly use the French onion crock if you have one, but I just use a regular bowl. I like this as like a light soup. So I just have it with the salad, but like I said, you can also have it with like a roast beef sandwich is really good. If you think of like a French onion dip, that would go perfectly well with this or any other kind of sandwich that you might like. Um, I think like a ham and brie sandwich would be really great, but I like this just on its own. You'd be surprised just how filling it is and what a good option it is on a cold snowy day. Thanks for tuning in. To ensure you don't miss any episodes, subscribe to the channel click the notification bell, and check out my cooking at home playlist. Go ahead and click that thumbs up button if you like what you saw, and go ahead and share it on social media.